In order to make a submission for this short little assessment piece, uh, just checking that your skills are okay before you progress any further, um, I'm going to show you how to do an export of images of a 3D model in SketchUp. Now this task here, or this model of a really simple version of a house is something that you'll be shown later on, so once you finish this assignment, so it'll, it's a little bit of a preview of what you're going to be creating soon. Now, in order to do a submission, I'm not going to get you to submit your actual SketchUp file. It's a little tricky to do that through this version. What we're going to do is we're going to go up into our menu here, and the menu that we sometimes refer to as the hamburger. It's got the buns and the meat in the middle there. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to go to our export option, Oops, and we'll select PNG. Now, STL is great if you want to actually do a 3D print. Um, but PNG is great for what we're going to use in Canvas, which will be submitting different views and different images of what you've created. So I'll click on the PNG, and that comes up with this preview window. We can change some of the settings here. That's up to you to play around with. But this is the interesting part over here, where as you click on different icons, it'll show you different views of what you've created. So we can see here we've got this angle. All the corners give you different angled views of your model, and these ones will give you the side views, the front and the back. So you'll be able to see everything that is there. So what you can do is, if you're happy with each of these scenes, you click Export as PNG. Now, it's got here a little bit of a message there. That's all good. We'll click on Don't Show This Again, and we'll continue. Okay, so that one's done, and then we can go through and repeat this process for the other views. So I'll do one more time, go into PNG, this time we'll export as that, which is a pretty simple one, but you're going to be going through and doing all nine of these for your submission for this task. Export that as a PNG, and you can see that we've got these images appearing down here. So what you'll need to do is navigate to where they are actually appearing to. If I click on the show all, depends upon which browser you're using, but I've got my images here. I'm going to click on show in folder, and this is using Chrome, by the way. Firefox will be a little bit different, as will Microsoft Edge. Uh, and you can see I've got these images, which I could rename. Um, I could drag and drop them into a different folder, so it's a bit easier. And then I upload them into my assignment submission. So that's what I'm expecting for this task, where you're creating that shape with a few circles cut into it and the triangle on the side and the different colors. Uh, that you'll end up submitting nine different image files for that task to prove that you've got the skills before you progress any further.